Hey guys, welcome to my new series, which is about the Android fundamentals for beginners. This series is a 2020 version of what I think are the most important things you need to know as an Android beginner. There are a lot of series like this out there, but almost all of them are outdated. And because of that, I just wanted to make a completely new one from scratch. And there is actually one thing you need to know for this series, and that is Kotlin. I thought about making this in Java, but Java is actually really outdated for Android. And I want this series to be up to date in one or more years too. So if you don't know Kotlin, then feel free to watch my Kotlin series and learn it. I can really recommend it. It's not that hard, especially if you know Java, then you can learn the basics of Kotlin in one or two weeks. In my Kotlin playlist, you basically learn everything you need to know to start with this Android fundamental series. So I will not explain every concept of Kotlin in this series, only those that might not be that clear in the beginning, but this series is just to um, show you the basics of Android so that you can start with Android development after that. If you haven't already, I will show you in this video how to download and install Android Studio, which will be the IDE we will make our apps with. So that is a really cool IDE. Um, I will put that download link in this video's description. So just take a look here. You have a layout editor. Um, you, you can put all your code in it. You can put your resources in it. Uh, it basically provides everything you need to know to make an app. So you can see here a cool layout editor. You It comes with an emulator, so you don't have to plug in your phone and test your programmed apps on your phone. Instead, you can just test them on your PC on an emulator, which is actually really useful. And yeah, so just scroll up to the top and click on download Android Studio. If you want to download it for 32-bit, for example, then you can click on download options and select your version. So I'll click on download Android Studio here. After that, you will have to agree to that license agreement click on the at the check mark here and click download Android Studio for Windows. So when the download is finished, then simply click on the accept executable file and this dialog will open. We click on next here and now we have to check which components we want to install for Android Studio. So of course we want to install the IDE Android Studio, but we also want to install the emulator. So Android, Android virtual device that just means that we can create our own emulators and run our apps on those. So just click on next here. Then choose a location where you want to um, install Android Studio. I'll leave it like that. Click on next. And then you can just click on install. When the installation is complete, then you simply click on next and make sure that you start Android Studio now and click on Finish. So when the installation is finished, then this welcome window will open. So make sure to click on Next here and select the standard installation. So click Next again. And now you can choose which theme you want to use for your Android Studio IDE. I will of course choose the dark theme. Click on Next. and. Now we can select what kind of components we want to install. The Android SDK is just um, short for Software Development Kit. So the Software Development Kit for Android, those are just the components with all the Android versions. So for example, here the Android API 29, this is the newest Android version, Android 10. So we have to install those versions to use them on our emulator and to develop Android apps for them. So you have to at least download one version for that. And we could also um, check that box here to install a pre-configured pre um, Android virtual device, so an emulator. But I won't choose that one because we will create our own Android emulator. So just click on Next. And Android Studio will tell you what it will download now. So click on Finish and now it will download. When the download is finished, then this welcome window will open and 
We can select now that we want to create a new uh, Android Studio project. So click on that. And this is the dialog that will open whenever you want to create a new project. So first we have to make sure um, that we select a starting screen for our app. So that is basically an activity. But I will go more into detail about activities in a later video. So for now, just click on empty activity, select that one and, and click on next. Now you can specify a name for your um, application. I will choose just um, tutorials and make sure you select Kotlin as a language and not Java because this series will be on Kotlin. And after that you can just click finish. Then Android Studio will create your project. Wait a little bit and the window will open. When you wait a little bit until the build of our app is finished, you can see if it is finished in that line here below. If you click on the build tab, then you could go up here and click on that little icon, that little box with that blue arrow and click on it. That is the Android SDK manager. So with it, we can install new packages we need for development and make sure to select that SDK tools tab here. And I want to install two additional packages for this tutorial series. And that is Google USB driver that is just used for um, running your app on your actual mobile phone. And make sure to download the documentation for Android SDK. That is just really useful. If you don't know what a particular function is doing, then you can use that documentation and it will tell you what it does. Then simply hit OK and click OK again to download those components. You have to accept the license agreement, click on Next and it is downloading. When that download is finished, then click on that little Android icon next to that SDK manager icon. And this is the Android virtual device manager. So here you can create new Android emulators. And to start with that, let's create a new virtual device. Click on that button here. And now you can see a list with all the available devices you can use for your emulator and make sure to select the Pixel 2 device because I will use the same and I think it's the best if you just use the same emulator as I do with the exact same configuration. So let's create an, an emulator here with that Pixel 2 device. So let's click on Next. Now we can choose on which version you want to um, run your emulator. I will choose Android Q here, which is currently the latest version for Android. You probably only have that Android Q version installed on your device because that is the only version we installed in the previous step. On my device, I also have Android Pi installed, but for this tutorial series, I will run that emulator on Android Q. So make sure to select that and click on Next. Now you can select a name for your emulator. I will just leave it like that. You can select the startup orientation. So what kind of orientation you want to, uh, you want your emulator to start with. Just leave it in portrait and click on advanced settings now. Scroll down a little bit. And here you can choose how much internal storage you want to have for your emulator. I like to increase that to like 10 gigabytes because I like to install many apps on my emulator and at some point there is just not enough storage anymore. And by increasing it here, we can prevent errors when the storage is full. So when you're done with that, just click on finish here and Android Studio will create your emulator. You can see it appears now in the list. You can close that window. And now we can actually run that app that for now does nothing. It's just an empty screen, but we can run it. Just click on that little play symbol here, like you know it maybe from IntelliJ. And if you then wait a little bit, then you can see the Android emulator started here. And now it wants that we allow USB debugging. We have to enable that to run our apps on that emulator. 
So we just check here, always allow from this computer and click on allow. And after that, our app should start. So as you can see, it's just a simple screen with the hello world text here, but it is a fully executable app that would also work on your mobile phone. And yeah, if you got this far, you set everything up correctly and you're fine to start with Android development. In the next video, I will explain what is actually going on here in Android Studio because there are a lot of things that might overwhelm beginners. So we have a lot of tabs here in the bottom. We have all those many folders here and I will explain the most important stuff here that you need to know to start with this series. That's it for this video. If you have any problems with your installation, then feel free to comment below. And also if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments and I will answer them. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.